Hello and welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary for Wednesday, December the 7th. My name is Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal for my commentary on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters and I don't know what's in your portfolios. Therefore, what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. A little bit of economic data today across the pond in Great Britain, we've got manufacturing production came in at negative 0.9 was expected to be a positive 0.2%. So a little bit of a wet blanket there. That's one of their major numbers over there. Industrial production in line with that, uh, with being down negative 1.3 versus the expected positive 0.2%. So uh, both of those pretty bearish for their economy over there. Uh, then here in the United States, we had the crude oil inventories came in as a drawdown of 2.4 million barrels was expected to be a drawdown of 1.4 million barrels. So uh, continue to see these drawdowns in crude oil. Supposedly OPEC is going to crimp the production, but we have crude oil down below that psychological level of $50 a barrel just right now as we speak. So crude oil uh, not seeing uh, a push to the upside looks like the bears could be a little or the bulls could be a little exhausted to the upside uh, you would think that we'd get a little bit more of a push higher with a million dollar or a million barrel drawdown over what was expected but we're not seeing that as of right now uh, we got gold continuing to trend sideways uh, it's kind of getting stuck in this range right here it's up against the nine day moving average which has acted as resistance several times in the past month or so. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get above that and start to look to try and break that uh, negative trend that gold's been seeing. Bonds again today, uh, they were just up a point not too long ago uh, and are up against that nine day moving average as well. Whenever it's below it, it is a downtrend. Uh, plus we got this cross a while ago, which confirms a downward trend in the bonds. But uh, again, I don't really see them pushing too much higher above that. Could easily see it start to trend sideways until the, uh, the FOMC uh, meeting. Dow Jones, new historical high again today. It seems like every day we're going to be talking about that and spouting off about that uh, new historical high. Yesterday was a historical high settlement. Uh, today it looks like we could be looking at another historical high settlement. So uh, it continues to grind higher and not even thinking about really testing this nine day moving average anytime soon, it doesn't seem like. But Dow Jones up 18 points on the day. NASDAQ <clears throat> right there at the point of control, the value area of where the most time and volume has been spent, up four points on the day uh, and be getting quite comfortable right there, it seems like the past couple of days. Uh, the E-mini S&Ps, again, not a whole lot to talk about, but looking, eyeing this intraday uh, high wants to print that. It actually, I think, printed overnight there. So they're trying to get that print happening within the day session. We could easily see that happen today as we are only um, just a couple of ticks away from that. It's really uh, <laughs> trying to print it, and we we'll probably see that happen during this uh particular webinars or, or the market commentary as you can see here here's the high but we are only about a quarter tick away from that um, the bulls are definitely going to try and print that as you can see here this uh, I think happened over overnight when when this was printed so it was right before the or right after the open actually so it did print intraday I thought that printed right before the open um, but anyway, looking to try and capture that today. Uh, it could start looking like tweezer tops then if we get that and it sells off again, but we'll have that to see as we go. Then today we've got Lululemon, which has been stuck in this trend. 
uh, sideways for quite some time. We've seen the volatility expansion with the earnings coming out after today's close. Uh, we'll see that volatility collapse as you've seen several times before on those earnings events. That's why I like to try and sell premium around those, get that opportunity. And I went into doing a straddle. I talked about doing this uh, yesterday in the, uh, I guess it's a webinar, if you will, but it was the uh, Festival of Traders. And I talked about wrapping a high probability trade around Lululemon for the earnings event. So I would like to thank all you guys that showed up for that. I saw a lot of you guys uh, that are consistently in my webinars in that event as well. So it's great to see that you guys are really taking control of your finances and trying to educate yourself. That's the only thing we can do out here. Great traders continually educate themselves as I do too. Um, so I actually watched that entire thing for three and a half hours and took a couple of nice notes through that. And, uh, you know, I educate myself as well. So I hope I can pass some of that uh, knowledge on to you guys. Anyway, so I went into the December weeklies that expire on the 9th. And so I did the December, sold the 51 puts and the 65 calls. So it's right wrapped around uh, that one standard deviation move. It's outside of the market maker move that I talk about in a lot of those earnings webinars that you can check out there uh, at Pro Trader Strategies. And I was able to collect 88 cents for that. I'd like to have collected about a dollar for that, but it, I was chasing it all morning as the market was rallying. And I'm a little bit worried as to the downside in here as Under Armour underperformed on their earnings. A little bit worried about Lululemon underperforming to the downside on their earnings as well. So I wanted to stay uh, pretty far down there at around those with those 51 puts. So I'd be below where the... Um, value area low is and well below where we've seen support here. So uh, I decided to try and go a little bit lower, collect a little bit less for those puts and then sold the 65 puts, which is uh, going to be landing right around here. So outside of the market maker move, I'm pretty comfortable with that. So hopefully not a big uh, move tomorrow and we stay right here and that would be all good for me. Um, Friday's webinar is going to be on the put diagonal. We did one on the call diagonal. We're going to be looking at this from the put to put perspective. And this is a great uh, strategy to wrap around uh, for the next earnings cycle. So if you love trading earnings, this is a great way to get into that next earnings cycle early with really low volatility. And we can see volatility expand as we see uh, going into all of these binary events. Uh, and we will benefit from that expansion of volatility. Even if we're directionally wrong, it will help us out. So I'll talk about all those rules and how to structure that uh, particular strategy on Friday. So go to ProTraderStrategies.com, sign up for that. It should be a really good one. That's about all i got for you guys today. Other than if you can't take that, take it easy.